Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Tuesday, September 15th, 2015, around 5.07 in the afternoon, Bellwick, Massachusetts. Nice day out, highs in the 80s, but low humidity and stuff. Some news to report, Simone Gagne has announced He's retiring from the NHL after 14 seasons, so he's not playing hockey anymore. And sad news to report in the world of business, co-founder of Subway, Fred DeLuca, passed away at the age of 67. And that's about it on the news. My second video blog subject of the day is about MBTA Bus Route 108 from Wellington Circle, Orange Line Station to London Square in the Malden Revere Line via Highland Ave and Malden and Malden Center Station for MBTA. This bus route starts off in the Wellington, Wellington Circle MBTA Station busway and then it goes up out onto like a ramp that goes onto the Revere Beach Parkway, goes over the Orange Line and the commuter rail tracks, and it goes by like Stations Landing and Cappy's Liquor, turns onto the Fells Way, and that's Route 28 North, goes by a big shopping plaza with Fells Way, which includes an AC, uh, um, includes a Models, a off-Broadway shoe, stop and shop, Ocean City job lots and others. And it turns right onto um, Riverside Ave and then takes a left. That's Middlesex Ave. And then it goes by a BJ's Wholesale Club and a lot of businesses on the right-hand side at one time. That used to be a shopping center with an old star market and a cow door. But both of them are long gone. There's a, like a Converse outlet store there, I think. And now it's businesses. Now it, now the bus goes on to the Method Molden Line and uh, Middlesex Avenue turns into Highland Avenue. There's some small businesses there. Goes up there and it takes a right onto Pleasant Street, Route 60. And then it continues up down. And during the weekdays, they take a right. That's Pearl Street. It's right by on a football field and stuff, and that's where rumors that eventually that football field is going to be turned over to a minor league baseball stadium. And then it goes on Pearl Street for a while, then takes a left onto Charles Ave, and goes underneath the Orange Line, uh, Orange Line and Commuter Rail tracks, takes a, another left, that's Commercial Street, goes by a lot of businesses, and industrial stuff. And then it goes on into Malden Center, MBTA Orange Line Station. And then afterwards it goes on to Center Street, goes by a stop and shop, a super stop and shop. And then it goes bears left onto Main Street. There's a lot of businesses. It's in the heart of Malden Center. And then it goes to um, Salem Street and go right by Malden High School. And then the area turns in from like businesses to a lot of housing and stuff. Continues down to Salem Street. There's a mix of businesses and there's some schools there. Continues down. It goes over um, Broadway and stuff. Route 99 continues on. It almost parallels Route 1 South and then eventually goes to Lynn Street. And then it ends on Eastern Avenue right by by Linden Square, which is close by to the Revere Line and stuff. And this bus route is approximately like 25, 30 minutes. It serves a lot of areas for Malden and stuff and Method. And this is mainly a bus route for people to like, to go to like Malden Center Station via like Middlesex Street and stuff. It's a pretty decent bus route and stuff. And it costs 160 if you have a Charlie card or 210 if you do not have one. And you have to pay cash. They don't take debit cards, credit cards, or anything. So you have to have cash if you don't have a Charlie card or you're not going to ride any of the buses. They'll tell you to get out. And that's about it on this.
I'll be back with the third and final video blog of the night, which will be my personality profile about the WWE Hall of Famer, the late great Mae Young. Keep calm, everybody. And I'm a Julie Brennan guy. Molly Rose Blunt, a Fox 35 Rocks. She's so stunning and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hart of Local 6 Rocks, too, and she has nice legs. And Amy Swansea of Wish 2 Rocks and has nice legs. And in the words of Jim Ross, WWE Hall of Fame, a good old JR. He's been being like a government mule. Goodbye, everybody. See you later.